Now, which Italian coach led AC Milan to the 1994 European Cup final? Fabio Capella. Did. Correct. What two colours feature on the flag of the United Nations? Blue and white. Correct. Who played Dr Doug Ross in the TV series ER? George Clooney. Correct. Who was Pope for 33 days in 1978? John Correct. Which Irish dramatist wrote The Silver Tassie and Juno and the Paycock? Uh, Brendan Behan. Wrong. Stop the clock. We're not sure, but Seamus Heaney. No. Correct answer was Sean O'Casey. Chaser, your time starts again. Now, which darts-themed game show was hosted by Jim Bullseye. Bowen? Correct. Parma Ham comes from which country? Italy. Correct. A brazier works with which alloy? Brass. Correct. Which woman released the 1971 solo album Tapestry? Uh, Janis Joplin. No. Wrong. Stop the clock. Diana Ross. No, the correct answer was Carol King. Chase the three steps to catch the team. Time remaining, 46 seconds. Your time starts again. Now, which play has the subtitle, The Boy Who Wouldn't Grow Up? Peter Pan. Correct. Dry rot is an infection of what material? Wood. Correct. The meat packing centre of Frey Bentos is in which South America? Uruguay. Of... Correct. <laughs> team. You have been caught. For you, the chase is over. Well, they say it's not over till the fat lady sings, but in this case, it'll be a fat man. And I was thinking such nice <laughs> thoughts about you, Wendy. They were a very good side, and Richard did well, but he needed a bit more support. He did, I agree. Richard? It was either a dream honeymoon to Thailand or a weekend in Skegness. Well, give our love to Skeggy. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for playing nonetheless. Thank you. But today's team, the chaser was just too good. Join us next time when another team will be determined to beat the chaser. Goodbye. The Chaser, Mark, the Beast, Labet. Audio described by Penelope. It's no secret that this is my favourite time of the night because we get some retro game show action with the late, great Jim Bowen. Let's step up to the hockey and play Bullseye next on Challenge. Well, there's drama over on Pick next and another tense mission for Bravo in SEAL Team. Congratulations, number three. You said cup of tea. That's the top answer. Mecca Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. Ciao, Mama. Ciao, Papa. This is Brian. Hi. He's made lunch for us. I hope you like it. Buon appetito. Mm. Fantastic. Oh, very good. Mm. Doesn't Brian's homemade tortelloni taste just like Mama's? It even looks like Mama's. It's a family recipe. La Famiglia Rana, Italy's favourite pasta. Get the KFC Zinger Duo deal for just $3.99. Do the deal until the 12th of November. Only at KFC. Little pockets of play can appear anywhere. With Kinder Surprise, even the school run can be a little lesson in fun. Kinder Surprise. A little play means a lot. Jen, for your birthday, let's go glamping! Wait for me! Oh, better get a travel lodge. Travel lodge. Travel lodge. For great value, king size comfort. Better get a travel lodge. This is Germany calling. Germany calling. Die Kriegsmarine plant gegen Hitler vorzugehen. Eight winners are back for their biggest test yet. You have four hours to capture Judy Dench. The winner of Portrait Artist of the Decade is <laughs> the British Empire. For some, its former glory has been called into question. But is it really a legacy of bloody conquest ah! and exploitation? You've done something wrong, go in the hole. People just don't want to go there. This is intense. Join me, Al Murray, and me, quickly, quickly, as we journey to find out. Can we get out now? 
Why does everyone hate the British Empire? Starts Monday the 23rd of October on Sky History. The arrows are out. Play for prizes or your BFH. It's Bullseye on Challenge. Sixty-six. Give us a clickety click if you can still hear us. Mecha Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. in here tonight. Honestly, I promise well this afternoon they can't contain themselves. I told them not to go for a drink at lunch now. It's nice to see you anyway. I must tell you, we've had letters flooding in. Well, I shouldn't have really said flooded there, should I? But we've had a lot of letters in suggesting that this audience are trained and coached into when to applaud and when not to applaud. And I promise you that's not the case. They are not told when to applaud and when not to <laughs> They only do it when they're supposed to. He's... And you know the other thing, when we come to the bullseye and I say, if a dark player hits the bullseye, he gets for his partner £200. You know when they do that, ooh? Well, that, they're not told to do that. They just do that automatically. They do it just... Ooh. You see what I mean? Right on cue. <laughs> Let's see if our contestants tonight can do well as they play bullseye. How are you, Mick? All right, Jim. Nice to see you. <laughs> We've had a great day with these two. Mental, these two. Absolutely mental. You like pigeons? <laughs> Don't you? It's, 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 it's a good hobby. <laughs> oh, you're very good at this, aren't you, the pigeons? I think I am, but everybody else don't. <laughs> tell us this story about when you, you, you sent some off, didn't you, to France? Did you tell us that, you go on. Well, uh, I was away darting at the time, you see, and before I went, I told the wife, whatever pigeon dropped on the garden, get it in a pen and clock it in. And you'd sent them. By the time you went to your darts, the pigeons were on the way to France. Oh, no, they went three days before. Oh. It takes them that long, you see. They fly over. Let yeah. me... Let, I'll tell you. Oh, well. <laughs> and, uh, Anyway, I've, I phoned up to see what time the pigeons had been loose from fa France. Yeah. I was expecting a seven o'clock, eight o'clock... In the evening. ...loose. Sure. ...on the morning. In the morning. It was eleven o'clock when I phoned up. I yeah. says, I've got one. One I've got back I in... says, never in the world. Three hours from France. From France. 300 mile. Marvellous. I've got enough. good pigeons. That's right. Now, when I took the clock up the pigeon club on the night to have it read off, hey, it was a pigeon from the week of hour. <laughs> <laughs> and it taken ten days to get back. Oh. And, and that was only from Weymouth. <laughs> Mental. How are you, Clary? All right, Todd, you... Yeah. <laughs> it's, your hobbies, are, you're reading Western, to country and Western music, and you're playing the, in the Sunday League, don't you? Do, do the two of you play together? We play in the same league. But not, not yet. Yeah, for for sure. different clubs. For different clubs, yeah. yeah. And where are your matches? Where do you, where, uh, where you play it's on, on the home, home and away basis. Yeah. And what time? It's a Sunday morning league, is it? Yes. What time do you start? 12.30, kick off. In the afternoon? Dinner time. <laughs> Dinner time. <laughs> what about Sunday lunch? Well, sometimes you get back time enough for it. It's usually burnt. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> have a good night with us, boys. You've been an absolute pleasure to work with today, you really have. We've got Robbie and Tony, and Robbie, you're from Bristol. Right, what yeah. do you do, Robbie? Yeah. What do you do for a living? Test engineer, Jim. Tell us a little bit about that. Is that... Well, uh, what they do is they make machines which actually make the silicon chips. Oh, really? Yeah. It's quite an interesting job. Yeah. Uh, is, do you have to be fairly well qualified for that? Or can you learn it on the on the floor, as it were? Well, it's a little bit of both, really. You know, yeah. you need the background in electronics. Yeah. And then you've adapted And then you go and specialise in this. Yeah. And your partner's Tony, and you play darts, Tony, but you, you, you're another sportsman, aren't you, Tony? You're well into the... Yeah, so I, I participate in quite a few sports. Cricket, yeah. football. And you a bit of jogging, a bit of weightlifting. Jogging, lifting. bit of weightlifting, yeah. 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 He's a granddad at home. He's a granddad, is Tony. Look at that. Does he... <laughs> Does he look... He doesn't look old enough to me to be... What about our studio is? Does he look a granddad? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good. Excellent. 
John and Vi. Hi, John. All right, Jim. How's Mum? Fine. All right, Vi. Yeah. Now, you're from Faversham down in Kent, John. Yeah. That's right, isn't it? And, and what, do you do for, what, what do you do for a living? I work for the local council in Essex. You test for gas leaks? That was a job I had before Essex County Council. Yeah. yeah. I used to work for a contractor. Yeah. You packed it in because it wasn't getting up your nose, the job, was it? <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> your, your hobby's banger racing, is it, John? I like yeah. going banger racing, yeah. yeah it's good. very exciting, yeah. And Mum goes as well, don't you, Vi? I've only been She's once. Been just been the once? This week, yeah. Really? Yeah. As recent as that. Did you enjoy it? Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, as you've got a, got a long in life, life's become more and more exciting. Yeah, it? So, you know, it really has. It's, it's quite yeah. fascinating, really. Because yeah. John is, is the eldest of how many? Ten. Of ten? Yeah. Well, it's nice to see you up and about, Vi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who, uh, what's, what's the name of your husband, Vi? Percy. Percy, that's it about is. right. <laughs> uh, he, uh, give our contestants a nice round of applause. Let's remind you at home, questions in the first round, £30 each. Off we go. Don't forget your bonus lights, by the way, all of you. Here we go. The best of luck to you all. Come on, you lads. Clary for Mick. Choose a subject. Sport, please, Jim. All right, come on, Mick. Sport with light. £50. For another £30, Clary... On which horse did Bob Champion win the 1981 Grand National? Holden E.T. Good man, sir. Gets you £30. We move on. No, no, no. No, don't worry. Move on. Tony, for Robbie. Uh, history, please, Jim. History we shall have. Come on, Robbie. £100. Well done. Excellent. Good start for you there, Tony. That's a good start for you. Well played, Robbie. For another £30, which defensive structure against the Scots was begun around 120 AD? Tony? Adrian's War. Adrian's War. Well done, sir. £30 you've got. Vi for John. Spelling, please, Jim. All right, my love. Come on, John. Spelling we'd like. <laughs> no, it's gone into Britain, but the subject's still there. Who founded the National Viewers and Listeners Association in 1965, Vi? Mary Whitehouse. Thank you. £30 you've got. Well done. Which gives us, at the end of that round, Clary and Mick with £80, Tony and Robbie with £130, and Vi and John with £30. Well done. Fine. <laughs> we move on. Questions in the second round, £50 each. They're a little more difficult, still plenty of subjects to hit. In fact, they're the ones that are lit. So let's carry on, Clary, to round two. What do you think for Mick? Spelling, please, Jim. Spelling we'd like, Mick. That's the way to play it. Fifty pounds you have. For another fifty pounds, Clary, please spell cassette, meaning the holder for a tape or a film. C A double S E double T E. Check it with Bully. C A S S E T T E is right, gives you another fifty pounds. We move on. Tony for Rob. Places, please, Jim. Places. Come on, Robbie. Places. Fifty pounds. Well played, Rob. Tony, another fifty pounds, if you can tell me. What is the capital of West Germany, Tony? Bonn. Bonn is right, sir. We move on. Another fifty pounds you've got, uh, Tony. Vi for John? Words, please, Jim. Words, John. Words, please, for Mum. <coughs> no, chopped into books. For fifty pounds, Vi. Lucy Irvin answered a magazine advertisement and went off to live on a deserted island. What is the title of her book describing that adventure, Vi? You've no light on, so you're OK for a second. You're going to have a... S Clary, it's worth a stab. Paradise Lost. It wasn't. In fact, it was Castaway. So there we are at the end of that round. We've got £180 for Clary and Mick, £230 for Tony and Robbie, and Vi and John with £30. You're looking OK. There you are. £100 a question now. We're moving into the game fairly rapidly. The questions are more difficult, but look at that board. We've got faces, showbiz, affairs and words. Clary. Showbiz, please, you. Right. Showbiz we want. That's fine. Right in the 50. Steady darts there, Mick. Well played. Clary, for £100, this is a film clip. Look at your monitors. This is me, it really was in, to a V, one, two, three. And if you'll pardon me the simile, and from the again, friendly, how can this be me? I got the urge to... 
OK, now listen to the question, Clary. Here we go. That's a clip from the film Summer Holiday, which starred Cliff Richard. Who was the actor singing and dancing with Una Stubbs, Clary? You've no light on, so you... No. No idea, Clary, who you are going to be cross. It ain't half hot, Mum. Gladys. Melvin Hayes. Melvin Bragg. Melvin, Melvin Hayes. Hayes. Melvin Hayes. Well, you got the first one right, Melvin Clary. Hayes. So we've nothing there. Melvin All right, Hayes. we move on. Tony for Robbie, choose us. Faces, please, Jim. Faces. You play very well, sir. £50 you've got. For another £100, we're looking at the monitors again. Tony has first bite at it. Hands on your buzzers if you know. Whose face is that? Tony? Maureen Lippmann. Maureen Lippmann gets you £100. You're looking good. Now, Vi, come on, choose a subject. Words, from. please, Jim. Words we like. Words we want. Yes, £50. For another £100, remember you carry on, so you have a long way to go yet, so don't be too downhearted by this one. Listen to this. What is anaglypta, Vi? You know, you know what it is. What's anaglypta? <coughs> Clary, for £100. Wallpaper. Wallpaper is right. That's plain embossed wallpaper. £100 you've got gives us at the end of this part of the game. Clary and Mick with £330, Tony and Robbie with £380, and Vi and John with £80. Well played. <laughs> £300 between the lowest and highest scores, but that is a mountain that can be climbed easily if the dart players get their acts together. Three rounds of darts against each other. Win for the partner a question. The winning score is the value of that question. So it's game two. Over to Tony. Pounds for points. Right you are, Mick. Best of luck. <laughs> Five. Twenty. And five, which is thirty. Thirty to beat, Robbie. It's one. Twenty. Another twenty. Forty one. And that's the score to beat, John. It's treble five. Twenty. And treble nineteen, which is ninety-two. So that's the first round to John, Jim. Well done, John. This is this question's worth ninety-two pounds to you, Vi, and you really could do with this. By which animal is the astrological sign of Capricorn represented? The goat. Good girl. £92 you've got gives us. £330 with Clary and Mick. Tony and Robbie with £380. And coming in, you see, £172 for Vi and John. Back to Tony. Right you are, Mick. <coughs> One. Another one. And 20. 22. Just take your time. OK, Robbie, 22 to beat. Treble 20. 20. Another 20, 100. Well done, Robbie. <laughs> OK, John. 100 to beat. It's 20. 5. Another 20, 45. So the second round to Robbie, Jim. OK, it's a £100 question for you, Tony, is this? Think carefully. How many days are there in 1988? 366. It's correct, sir. Gets you £100. Gives us £330, playing £480, playing £172. Back to Tony. <laughs> OK, Mick, final round. 20, 5, and 20, 45, that's the score, Robbie, 45, it's 20, 5, Another 
the 20, 45, so it's a tie so far, John. 45 to beat. It's treble one. Treble 20. And 20, 83, which takes the final round. 83 pounds worth of question for you, Vi. A horse, Vi, is measured in hands. What measurement is one hand? How big is one hand? Six inches. We can offer it to Clary for Four forty-five pounds. Four inches. Four inches gets you forty-five pounds. Gives us at the end of this game two, three hundred and seventy-five pounds for Clary and Mick, four hundred and eighty pounds for Tony and Robbie, and one hundred and seventy-two pounds for Vi and John. <laughs> so we've got to say cheerio to Clary and Mick and Vi and John. In the in you come the four of you. Well done, John. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Good day with you, lads, today. No, and you're all right, of course. £375. Pounds. It's been worth your coming, hasn't it? It is. Of course it is. You, you do a couple of weeks' work for that, haven't you? And you too, £172 yeah, pounds yeah. from a, a very shaky start, yeah. wasn't it? You, came, yeah, it you were coming yeah. back nicely, weren't you? Yeah, you did well to control it and yeah, keep yourself in, in check. Easy. Very good. I'll count this money out. There's about five and a half hundred pounds to count out between them. It'll take me two minutes. Don't go away. We'd love you to watch the second half. See you then. <laughs> Congratulations, 82. You're straight on through to the next round. I love it when I can dry my clothes outside, but the weather doesn't always cooperate. Very adorable fabric softener makes our washing as fresh as if it's been dried outside, even when drying inside. Mmm, that outdoor freshness. And still so soft, even next to sensitive skin. Very adorable, very soft and fresh as if dried outside. Steve, he's in accounts. He's been here 25 years. 25 years? Just sign his leaving card for me. Yes, sir. Um, expense this for me, will you? I'd lunch with the guys upstairs. This is just lunch? I know. I think we broke the company record. Anyway, cutbacks. Initial thoughts. Downsizing. I could make do with this office here, I suppose. But that big space downstairs is a bit overindulgent nowadays, isn't it? By downstairs, do you mean... Closing the actual branch? Mm-hmm. But nationwide, are huh? We're not nationwide, are we? We're nothing like them. Went into one of our branches once. Oh, I'd like to speak to the manager. I think I've lost my life savings. Total yawn fest. But what if you have lost your life savings? Well, that's what chatbots are for. Smoothie me. Is that my ex-wife? Unlike the big banks, we're not closing our branches. Nationwide. A good way to bank. Little pockets of play can appear anywhere. With Kinder Surprise, even the school run can be a little lesson in fun. Kinder Surprise, a little play means a lot. Magnum classics you love, but many. Magnum many always fits. Discover your favorites, just many. Who's that? Mom. Who's that? Again. Welcome back to uh, the part two of this edition of Bullseye's Bronze Bully Time in a minute. Let's give you the league as it stands at the moment because they are doing well this series. Uh, in the lead at the moment, well, we'll take third place. Do you remember Ray Farrell who won it last year? First show into the series, he got £610. Second, Billy Leonard. In fact, the following week, I think it was, Billy got £642. 
and winning at the moment, currently in possession of the bronze bully, is Richie Gardner, who got 325, 650 pounds for charity. We've got tonight, a ga we'd love him to make it tonight, really. The Liberace of Darts, great character. Please welcome, throwing for charity, Bobby George. <laughs> Nice applause there, Bob. Best of luck. It's treble five. Treble twenty. And twenty, ninety-five. Trouble twenty. Five. And twenty eighty five. So one hundred and eighty, Bob, plus eight. Twenty. Twenty. Another treble twenty. That's one hundred. <laughs> Bobby two hundred and eighty. Really did it. Okay, so good chance. Two hundred and eighty. Well done, Bob. Well done, Bob. How are you? Well, that was super smashing. Right, that was... <laughs> You're taking the mickey out of me then, aren't you? <laughs> we're, we always get upset with Bobby because he, you've been with us eight series now. You've never made it, have you? Never yeah. made that through one. Yeah. All so close. Every time. Never mind. It's, it's always a pleasure to have you on the programme, sir. It's a pleasure to be here. £280, Bobby. It's been a delight to have you, as always. Uh, the charity, where's it going to? Uh, ward 62, the radiotherapy ward at the Bristol Royal Infirmary. Yes, good. That will be away at the end of the programme. Delight to have you on the programme, Bobby. Thank you. Thank you for coming, sir. I know Thank you want to wish the boys all the best. Thanks, all the best. Good luck. See you soon. Good luck, yeah. You're always welcome, sir. Bobby Gill. <laughs> OK. Now then, boys. No problem. Easy. Easy. It's downhill from now on. Take you all the time in the world. And let's have a look at what Bullish Prize Board has got for you tonight. In one. Right in those dully rainy wash days with this tumble dryer. In two. Right in style, and you will be, with these matching gold pens. In three. Just drink in the elegance of this porcelain tea service. In four. You can wake up from a good sound sleep to a good sound from this radio alarm clock. In five. They'll look good in any location, these four director's chairs. In six. Cut down on those garage bills with this mechanics toolkit and ramps. In seven. It'll be the centre of attraction, this stacking music centre. In eight. No need to miss that important call. This answering machine records them all. And Bully's special prize. Here's a prize you're going to hang on to. It's a windsurfer complete with wet <laughs> <laughs> Nine prizes. Boys, listen carefully. They're in the red sectors there. Keep out of the black and in the red. Nothing in this game for two in the red. As you hit the red, you win the prize, the light comes on. We want you to light the board up. You've got nine darts. We'd love you to take them all. First for three for you, Robbie. In you go. Listen to two. OK, Robbie. Take your time. It's black. Red, number one. That's fine. That's the tumble dryer. And we wanted that one. Red again, number seven. Excellent. That's the music centre. Well done, because his eyes lit up on those two prizes, didn't they? Well done, Rob. OK, Tony. Number what's gone? It's black. Black again. But that's red, it's number five. Well done. That's the, the four directors' chairs. Very good. Very good. OK, Robbie. Three darts to go. Some prizes. That's red, it's number two. Well done. That's the matching gold pens. Red again, number three. Excellent. That's the porcelain tea service. And red again, number four. Excellent. That's the well radio done. alarm clock. You've got everyone you wanted. Let's have a look at what you've won. You've won the tumble dryer, the matching gold pens, the porcelain tea service, the radio alarm clock, four director's chairs and the stacking music centre. All right, that is an armful of prizes. I'm saying no more than that. <laughs> All right. Now, 
The 480 pounds that you've won, you take that home anyway, and the 280 that Bobby's got for your radiotherapy unit, that's on its way. Now, bearing in mind what's happened the last two weeks on Bullseye, when very good dart players have gone to that board, just bear that in mind when you think, because are you prepared to gamble those prizes against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully? 101 or more with six darts. You're a fair player, Rob. Three for Tony, three for Rob. You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell me whether you're going to gamble for all or nothing. 101 or more. Audience, what would you do? Boys, tell me now. Yeah, we're going to have a go. You're going to have a go. Non dark player to go first. Robbie, stand with me. Tony, you've no rush. All right, 101 or more will take tonight's star prize. But just take your time. Be self settled. Best of luck. It's one. 20. And one, 22. Which leaves 79 or more, Robbie. And no rush. Best of luck. Twenty. Oh, unlucky. And twenty, so near, so Boys. far. Boys, unlucky. it's happening quite frequently, and I've got to say this painful saying now. Please have a look at what you could have won. Tonight's star prize, it's a sun-drenched holiday for four in a five-star luxury villa on Portugal's fashionable Algarve where the soft golden sands are washed by the clear waters of the Atlantic and sheltered by the beautifully rugged mountains behind. And there are 14 whole days of this, 14 days of fun-filled, sun-filled luxury. Oh, dear, boys. I'm sorry, it's happened three times now. Capable dart players have gone in there, but it, that, that board, it's a different ball game, isn't it, when you get to there? Different from the pub, isn't it? Dear me. It's not the end of the world for you boys, however, anyway. You've got £480, there it is. Your bullies, your tungsten darts, and your tankers. Nice mementos. I know you've had a great day. It's been really fun. Well, what about you people at home? Is anybody ever going to win this star prize? The dart players are excellent. But that last 20 seconds, well, all human weakness is there. Thanks for watching Bullseye. Thanks to Bobby George. Nice to have Bobby. £280 for the boys. That's down to Bristol. Thanks to our studio audience. Nice to have them here. And nice to have you at home. Hope we contribute to your Sunday. Watch us next week because you can't beat a bit of bully. Bye. <laughs>